Bueno, bueno, mi gente, ya sabe, este es Fallen Five Fresco y este es mi amigo Beef, also known as Duarte Productions. Este es el show donde te damos la información para la F. Fact or Fiction, run the tape. Thank you, thank you, everybody, for coming today. Uh, the launch party was amazing. It was really good with my team, uh, Duarte Productions, uh, also photography. He was on a lot of flip sides of the coin today, which kind of goes with the show. But thank you for coming today, man. I really appreciate you, you coming me, out. Man, yeah, man, it was a right. pleasure having you out. Uh, the place and location where we got to create content today was also brought to you by uh, one of his friends, Nigel, which is his birthday and stuff. So um, happy birthday to him. Yeah, shout out. Shout, really, I want to just say shout out to Nigel and really uh, giving us and blessing us with this spot because this is going to be a special show, man. We really get to bring original people from where we come from, where it's just San Francisco, California, and bring it to the 305 and kind of mix the vibes, you know what I'm saying? So uh, it's kind of going to go right into my first question, man. We really get down to business around here at La Fuente, bro. So, you know, I want to ask you, like, and I've known you for a long time, Beef, you know, we've known each other for about, about 50 plus years, right? So my first question to you really is, like, what made you start photography and, like, what made you get into, like, filming and shit like that? What made you want to start Duarte Productions? Well, um, let's see. It all started really uh, in the music game. Um, I started selling CDs at a young age for a rap group in the neighborhood I grew up in, um, Westlake Village in Daly City. Yeah. Um, a group called Money Hungry, I was selling CDs for them. So from there, selling CDs as a young kid, uh, going to different high schools and you know, different neighborhoods and just trying to sell CDs back in the day when you would have a box of CDs and right. sell them you know, uh, the cash, you know, um, I, did, I mingled around a lot. I, I floated around a lot with, um, in the industry and then something clicked in my head where I was just like, Hey, well, I like music. I like to do music. I like to write poetry. Right. Um, it made me want to get my own studio, watching other people pay for studio time. And I was like, well, why not just invest the money in the equipment and learn it myself? and um, be able to work with other artists. Um, right. From there, you know, I kind of smartened up a little more and said, hey, well, I want to shoot videos now. So right. The music and the videos go good together. And uh, once I put that camera in my hand, it was just like something else. I went, you know, from doing those videos to then it was just like, well, let me start taking pictures. And um, How long ago was that? Like, I mean, how long has that, that been? That was, uh, let's say about 10 years ago. Damn. 12 years ago. Yeah, that's quite a time because you've been having what well, your oldest is your oldest because you got my oldest three kids. 16. So, so you that's what the one thing that I learned about a lot about this show is that as I interview entrepreneurs in our state and our level is that we some of these people not me but I don't have kids but some of my friends everything have kids so it's right. harder to maneuver and even be in these type of industries yes. and stuff like that. So I respect to that. You know what I mean? And you've been putting in a lot of work with uh, the family side and the business side of things. Yeah, so it's, it's kind of hard to, yeah. it is hard to juggle. Um, yeah. Luckily I've had some support, you know, with my mother and, um, yeah. you know, uh, love from the streets, man. You get love from the streets. That's what I see, you know, you know cause I go wherever, you know what I mean? I'm not afraid to go nowhere. I don't have any bad blood with nobody. You know, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't, there's no reason for me to be afraid of anything. Cause there's nothing there that, you right. Know what I mean? so right. from there it was just like hey i'm taking these pictures and it, it was natural for me it came natural yeah and um i have a very my style is kind of unorthodox it's um a lot of people like to plan things and uh, you know map it out and i'm just like on the fly i'll see some an artist has a show going on or there's a show going on somewhere yeah. and if i'm interested i'll pull up yeah. and you know it started like that where i'm taking pictures of the guy of the artists on stage and Man. recording their performances and now I've kind of like 
mastered that a little bit. Yeah. Um, looking for some more challenges, right? Yeah. Um, and um, so what? So what is the what is the point that you feel like since you've been doing that now? Like you know, my second question is like, what was that moment that didn't make you stop? Because you have kids, you got all this everyday life. You you don't know if you're getting the support from the right artists. Are you filming the right artists? You know, are you going to the right things? What was the moment where you're like, nah, I'm gonna keep going with this? Like, what was that one moment? You know, I don't think I can pinpoint just one moment, but I'll tell you this: it was just there was there's just this. I love art, whether it's painting, uh, photography, videography. Um, engineer music, whatever it is, I just have a, a passion for that, yeah. um, for that art, you know. And so it was just like, uh, just I don't know. One day I just realized it was like, this is what I love to do. I love to be around this, mm -hmm. this shit. I love it. Yeah, you know. And uh, I love see. I think it was. I seen a lot of people get. A lot of artists don't get acknowledged, and yeah. I think, um, I think maybe I felt like maybe I was in that position once, and I didn't. I wanted to be an outlet for people to say, hey, you know what, this guy, this guy actually gives me a light. I like putting the light on people. Mm. You know, I like other people shine, and I yeah. don't like to be selfish like that, you know? So That's right. Everyone has something in them. That's right. It just has to be brought out. So yeah. um, it's been awesome. Since I, then, I just can't quit. I cannot. In the Bay, we like to call it isms, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so you got to pop your isms. Cross your T's and dot your I's, and that's kind of what we go through in the game. That's I think that's what La Fuente is really organically starting to be, and what we're getting back from people really is that, you know, we are not here to hold anybody down. We're here to give people the information and understand what it takes to even be a photographer or what it's gonna take in life that you just can't give up. You know, we go through that every time on this show. So you know what I mean. It's good to hear your story. You know, I know you from a long time. It's good to know how you started. It's good to know what you you know what made you not want to stop and and do that. So like, what are you doing now? Like, what is you? I know you got some shit with Dope Era. I know you so, got a lot of stuff going so, on. So, so let the people know where they can get a hold of you and stuff like that, man. Yeah, for so, real. Yeah. Uh, so where I'm really going with it is, um, you know, eventually, of course, there's gonna be documentaries that I want to do. Um, maybe I'll step away from the camera and and go into like developing artists yeah. and and starting my own type of label thing where I'm developing these artists and helping push the younger generation. That's right. my next step is by is the younger generation and passing this down to my kids if they're yeah. interested in doing this. Yeah. You know, I want I want them to already have a step ahead in the game, which is something that a lot of us from our era mm -hmm. didn't have. Right. Um and to to add to go on with what you just said, I do um, I do go to a lot of dope era shows. Shout out Mr. Fab. Shout yeah, man, out, uh, the Bay dope man. Era magazine. Yeah. Uh, my boy Kenzie, man, he be rocking with me. Yeah, and, man. Uh, it's 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 a beautiful thing. And um, yeah, man, giving these younger artists, you have to, you know, you, you ain't forever. It ain't forever. Yeah. And you gotta pass down the torch eventually. So, yeah. you know, um, I want to do a lot of that where I'm. Uh, putting the spotlight on the newer, younger artists, and that's the longevity part of it. Yeah. And, um, yeah, you know, you, you can't discriminate on any artist. You know, you got to just, you know, see what see what it do, you know? Right, right. And um, other than that, if, if people want to holler at me and want me to come to their show and videotape or, you know, uh, capture the, the performances and, and photography of their performances or whatever uh, the event is, you know, all they got to do is holler at me. You can find me on Instagram at... Um, Duarte, I think with two or three underscores and in production. We're gonna put it down on the screen yeah, anyway. Get, so, know, but yeah, it's that, and then uh, the photography page is the same thing. It's all they're all connected. We'll so. put them all on the page. Yeah. Uh, uh, you have Facebook and all the other all stuff. Yeah, just Stephen Duarte. You got know, you. Uh, got you. So yeah, just. You even got an email? Do you got an email where people can get yes, directly uh, and maybe it's, should it's, be able to email you uh, sponsorship decks and things yeah, like that, and where uh, they can reach you and how the they can. Email is s period duarte three fourteen at gmail dot com. Yeah. Holla at me, man. Like you know, not every, everyone needs a cameraman, no matter what they think. Yeah. Pay your cameraman. That's right. Respect your cameraman. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Like it's for real, bro. You know, and another thing for all you other cameramen out there, I want to say this. This is my advice to you. When you go out to these places, when you go out and about and you're taking these pictures, learn from the professionals that have been there before you. Truthfully, you know what I'm saying? You gotta, that's what I've done. I, and I pay homage, you know, like shout out to D Ray. Like, mm -hmm. man, it, when someone like that gives you compliments on what your work you do, it's, it's, it goes right here. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, um, 
Hooker Boy Films, another uh, Bay Area legend. He does film work. He does a whole bunch of movies, man. Y'all go check him out. Hooker Boy Films. D-Ray, the, the, the Bay Area's most famous, to me, most famous photographer. She did work with Fizz and all that, you know. So yeah. um, learn. Learn. Don't be afraid to learn. Don't be uh, don't be stubborn. You know what I'm saying? And, and be teachable. So, um, yeah, man. You know, it's and, lit. and from it's there, lit. just... Pass that torch to your kid is what it sounds like, yeah, man. I hope he, I hope he picks it up for real and and learns and learns, you know, the craft that you built for yourself. Because, uh, you know, building your own business and residual income for yourself and working for yourself is a passion. That's what people I think really don't understand is that when you go into your passion and you chase it, you know, you're chasing your dream. It, it may not be nobody else's dream, but the kid next to you or the kid that you're raising, you're gonna make it his like. Wow, I didn't even know my dad did this for me, you know, right. and it's the dream and so it's Definitely. it teaches them as well So I, that's exactly what you kind of saying man. It's, it goes with with the show La Fuente, bro You know, I really have appreciate you for coming out Definitely and we know we we keep it short and sweet yes, And we sir. get we give the people the information for the F, you know, what I'm yes, talking about, sir. you know what I mean? We ain't holding nothing back. We want everybody to be really creative and be about their stuff, man, so Definitely. Let's Thank do you, it. sir. Yeah, whoa, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute, though. Wait a minute. Oh. Nah, we go, now we're going to flip that. Oh, man. Now. It's, just, it's gonna, over, man. man. You now, you know what I'm saying? I <laughs> want to know what made, what, what made Willie Esco want to start La Fuente TV? <laughs> Come on, man. Like, this ain't part of the show, man. This ain't how it rocks, man. You know what we do, man? We put motherfuckers on the spot, man. Ah, shit. Come on, man. man. All right, all right. Let yeah, me know what made Willie Esco start La Fuente TV. Hey, man. You know, honestly, I really appreciate you, you know, asking me that because. Uh, in life, you know, as I say to everybody, you go through levels of this stuff, and a lot of people don't believe in you. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. So I made this show so that. All my people could eat, and my team around me understands that. But you know, it's each one teach one, right? You have to set by example. That's so right. the show is really my show, but it really is a conglomerate of professionals. I believe like the people that I'm around right now are in the same position as me. So as we put our powers together, it's like the Power Rangers. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We all got our special powers. Right. So we're gonna come with it. You know, Marvel characters and everything have always, and comics have always been built around that. Yep. So La Fuente was something that I drew up. I actually drew the logo. And what does that mean? What does La Fuente mean for those that don't speak Spanish and understand Spanish? La Fuente in Espanol is the fountain. And the fountain is really the source. So I've always done a show here for Art Basel called The Source. Shout out Don Murph. You already know we fuck with the kid. My boy rest in peace, A1. You know what I'm saying? All my sure. people out here that I bring for Art Basel, and they coming out soon too. So we always do something. And every Art Basel, I would do a show called The Source. And I would spell it T-H-A. Shout out my DJ, you know what I'm saying? I came put support it today, my boy Freddie Mix. He already know he used to be my DJ for them things. Okay. So it just happened organically. And as I've been around people that really want to work, that's who I work with. Okay. You know what I mean? So La Fuerte was real organic. My camera guy, Jay Seta, was like, yo, bro, like I got this red. Let's, let's get busy, you know what I'm saying? And then little by little, you know, equipment just started popping up. And it's time for me to, like, put my money into it. And and, and the drawing came from me. My boy digitally uh, pre did it all that. My boy, I don't even really want to say the design name, but, you know, he's the best in the game. My boy, uh, Gabe, man, the dude draws the best graphic designs, man. He does everybody's. In the game, as far as the cannabis industry, everybody knows I'm involved in. And uh, he's just, you give him something, and he just makes it come to light. So, you know, La Fuente's kind of been something that happened organic, bro. And, and I really give thanks to, like, all my team that's been organically been put in my place. You know, Lux Life, uh, Eleven Vodka that came through, um, the Fire Dancer, Cali, uh, the models, you know, they got their influence. So, you know, we're just going to continue working on this show, uh, giving people this information for the F. Don't ever give up on your dreams because your dream is your dream. Can't nobody else have that dream but you. It's yours, but you can pass it down. It's a legacy at that point. You know what I'm saying? So, And we legends. You know what I'm saying? Like, we out here really trying to live this life to the fullest, you know? And when you do that, you give back. Because when you give back, that's when you get more. Definitely. So that's part of what, like you said. So with me is, you know... Um, so what was, what, what was the moment that you, you realized that this is what you want to do? I mean, honestly, to tell you the truth, like, for real, 
when the camera guy came at me and you know, you know, Seth, I came at me. He was like, yo, kid, like, you got a presence. You got a crazy aura to you. And I've been around a lot of people in studios and movie shoots. I mean, uh, video shoots and shit like that. And they'd be like, you know, you got the fire. Maybe you just need to start talking a little bit and tell the people really what it is. Because at the end of the day, I'm very well spoken. You know, I went to school and got high grades in school type shit. I graduated from high school. Not a lot of people do. But, you know, and that doesn't make you intelligent or not. All I'm saying is that I, I'm very well spoken when it comes down to that and I feel like I could intrigue and you know inspire some people off of that and I know I always have been in sports and everything in my life so you know it's my way to give back for real and you know on the damos la información para la F papa you already know it fluye it fluye como el flow de Miami man you know what I'm saying oye hola you know all them Cuban boys out here man you know it flows you gotta flow so for my moment was coming here to Miami and meeting my camera guy and him believing in me and Lux Life, like I said, making him and like, nah, man, you did the source. You should just call it La Fuente. He gave me the little inspiration. I drew it up the next day and then boom, Ooh. it was there. And now people been giving us feedback. We got Danny Weird that came on the show. Shout out Danny. I'm going to keep talking about like all the people that were on my show because they're really going to set the pace for the next people. You feel me? In my next months, so this is going to take me to like January because I'm only doing it every two weeks. Okay. But like if this really catches wildfire, 11, 11 is going to look it over and we get some sponsorships, which I think we should. You know what I mean? Because we're not going to have to smoke in this thing if we don't want to right now. But that's what we'll monetize and that's what will take it off of YouTube. So we're going to stay with the guidelines and stick where we got to go right yes. now to monetize and stay within there. Mm -hmm. Keep it clean for now, you know, for the kids too, you know, we're not cursing on this one. So we can even open this one up to the kids. A lot of the other ones I couldn't. So we're going to start figuring out those funnels and, and tap in more with people on TikTok and things like that. So y'all already know how to get a hold of me. You know what I'm saying? Since, you know, I already know the third question since you're trying to reverse yeah. it on me. You know what I mean? That was sneaky. But it wasn't sneaky because people sick. like me and him is methodical. Yes. So just know that we got some real good sneaky. stuff coming up. You know what I'm saying? West Coast too. Don't don't think we asleep. We're going to do this same type of shit. Oh, we're going to keep it kid. We're going to keep it kid friendly. We're going we're gonna to do we're this. Gonna came, we're going to do this came, same type of stuff. In Cali, you know what I'm saying? So you're going to see us with this red out there. You know, you're going to be out there with us. So we're going to interview some some people that we know out there in the industry, too. And we'll go through that list. And you'll probably be so the one managing. From Cali to over here. We can. We can. We totally can. But I think Fab is going to be on that one. I think you're going to holler at him. And I'm going to try and come do my, you know, it ain't the Wash Your Back, Phil Mike show. But, shout you know. Shout out Phil Mo Mike. Yeah, man. Shout out Phil Mo Mike. Hey, you know, he's doing a good back, thing. Man. He's doing a good thing at KMEO, man. I see the guy, man. He's doing his thing. Yeah, hey, that's a, I bobbing just, and weaving. Say, that's somebody that believed in me as well. Yeah. I'm trying to take it away from Yeah, him. yeah. He believed in me, and I believe in him. And. You see what we're doing, and yeah. I, now I'm over here trying to help my guy right yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. You know it's he levels to this. It's levels to this, bro. Yeah, levels to this, man. Yeah, man. That's why my new brand, Levels to This. Shout out everybody who been supporting that brand right now. We're going to really go crazy 2024. I feel like we got a lot of marketing behind it. And shout out my boy, Don Murphy, you know, always keeping me on top of my toes with, with the cutting edge of marketing and, and how, you know, people maneuver in the game right now as far as like social platforms. So I really do appreciate you coming on. I really thank you for, you know, uh, putting me on that same pedestal. And this is how I feel I'm going to give back. Everybody already know, you know, it's La Fuente TV. Dot LaFuente.tv on uh, IG, but on Instagram, y'all pretty much that following this show, pretty follow follow me on there already. It's a private account, and the reason why we keep it that way is because there's a lot of hackers and robots and all that other stuff that be uh, in those type of platforms, so we're going to keep it on La Fuente TV for all my people that want to tap in. We got someone that runs that Instagram. I have my website called Levels Production. And that's going to be able to uh, red carpet or even give people an opportunity to tap in with all my resources that I have here at La Fuente TV, uh, whether it be a fire girl, whether it be a camera guy, whether it be, uh, you know, a model and stuff like that. That's going to be on my website. So you'll be able to pick your own package. It'll come customized through the package. The website's already there. So you, when you look at it right now, you, you look, click the link or whatever, and you're going to see that. It's an actual thing. We just haven't organized it all the way because it's being organically built. And that's what La Fuente is, but it's there. Build it and they will come, they always said. That's what, the, that's what the Greeks were about, you know what I'm saying? And at some point, you know, I'm a mechanical engineer and ingenuity is my, my, is my train of thought and systematic ways of being. So, you know, this is the way I give back. So you already know what time it is with us, man.
I think it's a wrap, my boy. It's a wrap. Yeah, let's kill it. Yay! Yeah. Hey. Yeah. There it is. Nah.